In today's video, I have for you the first Yard Sale Sundays Haul of 2020. Here we go. Hello you all, it is Memorial Day. It's bright and sunny, so I apologize if I'm squinting. The clouds have been coming and going, so maybe we'll get a little shade. I do wanna take a moment to recognize the sacrifice of those who have fallen while serving in the line of duty for their country and to their families who have had to go on without them. Thank you. Today is the first Yard Sale Sundays haul of 2020. It's a day late because, well, you know, it, that, those things happen sometimes. And this week, um, there were tons of sales advertised, but most of them got canceled because it rained and rained and rained and rained <laughs> until about yesterday afternoon. So I do have two items that I found at a yard sale, and then I have a lot of items that I picked up off of Facebook Marketplace. So I'm gonna show you the yard sale items first. I'm gonna show you a few items that I got from a friend I don't even know what they are yet. It's a little bag of friend mail, so to speak. And then I will um, take the camera down and I'll show you the items, several of which are already in place. They're bigger items. I got a lot of furniture pieces that I want to share with you. So let's get right into the haul. So the first thing that I got from the yard sale was this little birdhouse. And it's actually, I'm gonna use it as a bird feeder. It's kind of like a platform feeder. I'm going to paint it with some exterior paint and seal it up really well with some polyurethane. I'm gonna change the colors. Right now it's got a lot of like red, which I don't mind, but then has green and orange and they're just some of my favorite colors and it doesn't really go with my decor. So I'm gonna paint it up to match with my stuff a little better. I'm going to hang it under our um, awning, our roof awning in the back on our deck because I've been wanting another feeder and they're kind of expensive. And I think there it won't get rained on very much. It'll be pretty protected. So I think the seed will be okay. And hopefully no wasps will uh, build a nest in there. That happens sometimes, but we'll see. I'll keep an eye on it. So that was $3 and I didn't think that was a terrible price. It doesn't look like they really used it. Like it's not dirty at all. Maybe they just used it as like interior decor. Then I also picked up this. So it's a longer burger basket. I have one of these and this was only $2. I don't know that I'll necessarily use it. I might sell this, but I thought for $2 for a longer burger basket, you can't beat that. This one is from 2005 and it has the insert. So I definitely can get some money for this on eBay. Uh, so that's probably what I'll do with it. I'm not entirely sure yet. So those are the two items I got from the yard sale that I was actually able to make it to. Then I also got some smaller things from one person on Facebook Marketplace. She was selling off some home decor. And so I got this lantern, which I actually, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen this on my mantle. I'm using it in there. I just pulled it down so I could show it to you all. I have put um, one of these battery operated candles. I get them off of Amazon. These are the best things ever. I first learned about them from um, Robin Johnson, but they come on and off on a timer every night. And so you never even have to like worry about it. And when they're in here, you can't even tell that it's fake. Like they make them really well with like a flickering flame. It looks great on my mantle, so I love that. Also for $5 is this one, whoops, is this one, which I think is gorgeous. I put a little, is it Odegiri? Odegiri, oh guys, I'm so sorry. I'm terrible with pronunciations, but that is a little pot that I got last year at, on a free pile, I believe. And so I put that inside and I put a little ivy plant and it's almost like a little greenhouse. So, but it does, it can get rain, um, but then it also drains. Like it hasn't been a problem that it's collected water because it did pour and pour and pour and it did not collect water. So I think this plant might be happy in here. I don't know, we'll see. I'll, I'll keep you updated on a, I saw that on Pinterest that people put live plants into lanterns. I'm like, nah, that could work. So I really like it here. Also, I should mention, if you want to watch a clean and decorate with me to see um, the process of decorating the porch here, I did post a video on my other channel, Nicole North Garden Home and Garden. I'll link it above and in the description box below. If you're interested in seeing that decorate with me, I will be doing a porch tour and a home tour. That'll be on this channel sometime in June. So, okay. So that's all I have as far as smaller items from yard sales and Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to show you a few items that my friend Kate gave to me. I don't know if she had them or if she found them. 
at a sale, I'm not entirely sure, but she gave me a bag of goodies. We met up in a parking lot in Minneapolis to exchange <laughs> the goods. So I'm gonna show you what she got for me. I actually haven't opened the bag yet because I wanted to save it for a thrift haul, kind of as a friend mail. Oh, so let's see what we've got. Oh, I think she showed me this. Oh my goodness, this is adorable. Read aloud nursery tales. So cute. Hopefully this is a, is this a wax? Yeah, this is a wax pen, so I should be able to get that off. 160 pages of the most enchanting favorites, old and new. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. For parents and children to enjoy together. I love this, I love the cover. This is gonna be great in my little vintage children's book area. I have like Bambi figurines and a Bambi light. So this is really cute. Thank you, Kate, I love it. So cute. Oh. Oh yes, she found for me some doilies. These are great in my decor. There's white ones and red ones. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, happiness is having someone to care for. That is adorable. So cute. You know I love Holly Hobby. I love it, I love it. Oh, this is gorgeous. I feel like, everybody see? Royal Anne, Minneapolis. I might have one other. Good, now I have a little set starting out. Fine China, Royal Anne, Minneapolis, Minnesota, USA. Strawberry, little saucer, adorable. Sorry if I'm squinting, it's way sunny. Not that I'm complaining, but it is sunny out. <gasps> what? No way! <gasps> oh my gosh, I love these. So these are those, um, it's like, I'm not sure if that elf is originally with him, but these are those elves i have some of these they're like from the 40s or something and i don't know if someone like when did, when was this craft made would this craft have been made afterwards i'm not sure but oh my gosh that's stinking adorable holy cow i love this oh vintage christmas i love vintage christmas so much that is so cute okay <gasps> Okay, these are like the little Swedish things. Let's see. Genuine and beat design. Denmark. It's Denmark, not Sweden. I said the wrong thing. I have a few larger ones of these. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. Look at that. I wonder if she found these at the bins. These almost strike me as like bins finds. Oh, these are so cute. Oh my gosh, I love them. Those will be great in my collection. To kind of balance each other, that's so cute. Oh, oh my gosh, look at his face. You know, I collect vintage Santas, he is adorable. He's kind of like wire, maybe. Yeah, he's bendable. Oh, I have to repair his boot, his boot is coming unglued. So adorable. Oh my gosh, Kate. Kate was like, I don't think you need to show the haul on, on, a, on a video because I don't think it, Kate, these are amazing treasures. Thank you, I love them. Amazing. Okay, now I'm going to insert some footage of the other treasures that I found at various Facebook Marketplace um, free sales and then just getting in touch with people who were listing things on Facebook Marketplace. First thing I wanna show you is these cubbies. Now, if you follow Robin Johnson at all, she has a set of cubbies like this that she built and she does all these displays in here. And that's what I'm gonna use this for. I think I'm, I'm gonna be moving some furniture around in my living room. I think I'm gonna hang that in my living room. I do need to repair one shelf or maybe take the rest of the shelf out to have a bigger compartment. I don't really know, I haven't decided yet, but this was completely free. She listed it as free. And then um, I think I'm gonna paint it because it, you know, it needs a needs a little freshening, but I think it's awesome. I'm really pleased that I was able to get that. But when I got to her house, she asked me if I wanted a cedar chest that she happened to have, and she said that would be free too. So I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'll go. The cedar chest is already in place in my bedroom, so I wanna show you that. I'll turn the camera off and go down there. Okay, here go. is the cedar chest. We are down in my bedroom. That's a little messy, but you know, whatever. I absolutely love this thing. I'm not doing anything to it except possibly to put it on feet because I thought it might be nice if it were raised up a little. What do you guys think? Should I put feet on it or not? I'm just curious to hear your feedback. It's gorgeous and the woman's relative made it. What the heck? 
Oh, here we go. <laughs> I was like, oh no, is it locked? But it's absolutely beautiful and it's old and it's homemade. She did say it needs a little repair, but I don't think that'll be a problem. I can easily um, take care of that. So it looks like they veneered the top with like a cedar veneer. It's particle board. And then the inside is actually cedar. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this thing. And I have been looking for a cedar chest to put at the end of our bed for a long time. And we are getting a lower bed shortly. Our bed is very high right now. So once we have a lower bed, I think it'll even look better. But that's why I was also thinking, oh, maybe I'll raise it up. I don't know. You can tell me what you think. Don't mind the mess in my room. It's a mess. What can I tell you? That's just life. So here's the other thing I got. I got this off of Facebook Marketplace. I had been looking for a larger mirror to go over our fireplace. Oh, by the way, this is where the lantern that I showed you goes. That's why there's a blank spot. But I absolutely love this. It goes with the kind of coastal vibe I wanted to go for in here. I love that it's white because that's just a nice bright accent in the room. Chris thinks I paid 20. I can't remember. Either way, 20 is a great price for something like this. I was looking at them on Wayfair and they're a lot, a lot more money than that. So this was awesome. The woman said she bought it. It didn't fit the space she had bought it for. So it's basically new. So I really love that. And then if you watched my Monday Motivations video on my other channel, you might have already seen this, but I bought for myself this antique sewing machine desk table, I guess it was. I absolutely adore this thing. I do, I, I put my laptop here. It fits great. I have a terrific view out the window. I love working here. It's awesome. And the drawers, they look like they were like hand carved. I don't know, but I don't know what these would have been for. I don't know if it was for like locking it. I'm not entirely sure, but I thought this was so cool. It came with a bunch of old spools, which I thought was really cool. And it's in terrific shape. Sorry, that's my little trash can down there. But I love it. I love it. I love it. And so it's just the perfect little nook for me to do my work with just some of my favorite things and surrounded by my plants. So I really like how it fits into this space. Okay, now I'm on the other side of that window. I also got this rack for free. It's a little garden rack. I love it. I'm going to put some more potted plants here. I just, I haven't gotten around to styling this yet. Tons of projects to be done outside. And you know, we only started to get nice weather about a week ago. So I will be styling this with more potted plants and it's a nice place to be able to put some decor on the outside of the house. So I'm super excited about that. And of course, free is always amazing. Okay, and that's all that I have for you here in this first edition of Yard Sale Sundays 2020. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm hoping the weather holds up a little better towards the end of the week and I'll be able to get to more sales for next week. But look for this series every Sunday through the summer. And don't forget, if you're interested in more home and garden content, you can check my new channel, which I'll link in the description box below, as well as above above here. Uh, that is called Nicole North Garden Home and Garden. That's where you'll find my clean and decorate if you want to see what I did on the porch. And until my next video, thanks for watching.